<coughs> Good morning, family. They're driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, let me welcome you to the mental house, okay? And I am your illustrious host, Khadija. Uh, this message is, you know, more specifically for those who have ears, let them hear. And this is for more specifically black folk that don't have to make excuses about, um, you know, feeling like there's an op against them. There's a study that finds that racism causes black Americans' brains to age faster than people of other races, increasing the dementia risk. Did y'all hear that? See, so see, I don't believe that any of these things are by accident. Personally, I believe that we are the world's biggest guinea pigs. And um, all the, from Henrietta Lacks, all the experiments, um, the dreptomania, just the crazy experiences that Caucasian people have done on us. Um, and that's why it's amazing to me um, how, to be honest with you, people can think that we haven't been damaged um, because of this behavior. So what has happened is they have purposely aged our brains by mistreating us and treating us like dogs. A brain study scans of blacks and white and Latina found that black brains age faster than other races, any other races. The study found that black brains exhibited signs of aging like greater white matter sooner than uh, other brains. Researchers said that exposure to racism and discrimination could be causing the brain to age much faster. You, you see what I'm saying? Nobody can, in the, a reasonable, sane human, can take this kind of abuse, slaughter. And then the sad part is that the victims continue to be blamed. But these behavior scientists, a lot of these came over from Germany. Uh, during the time uh, of the Third Reich, and they are um, old now. I mean, but but they pass their methodology and their science onto the younger behavior of science, and so these people have been doing damage to black and brown bodies on purpose. I mean, it's no accident. It's, it's all by design. And you, because you, if you ever notice that when uh, white people say, oh, y'all complain too much, all I hear about is y'all talk about is racism. And you go, okay, well, do you want to trade places with me? Since you think I'm hallucinating, you, you trade place with me and then tell me how your experience was. Jane Elliott did the uh, test and none of them raised their hand. She said, oh, so y'all know that black people are being treated cruelly and mistreated uh, horribly but yet and still you act like you don't know but you're really complicit because you you know that you don't you glad it's not you in other words better thee than me that's the energy that most people have okay so now that Black brains are aging quicker than white brains. The study says that racism is why. A new study pu published in JAMA Neurology on Monday analyzed the brain scans of 455 blacks, 275 white, and 737 Lat Latinos. Researchers found brain scans of middle-aged and elderly black participants had more signs of cere cerebrovascular disease 
or orders that affect the blood simply to the brain that are common among people with Alzheimer's. And uh, that white brains, then their white brain counterpart. Now that is really crazy. That is really crazy. Researchers um, also uh, said that black brains also exhibited signs of aging sooner around midlife compared to white and Latino brains. These signs include how much white matter is in the brain and the width of gray matter in the outer layer of the brain. The paper suggests that the cumulative effects of oppression, environmental adversity, and psychological stress, or a lifetime of exposure to racism and discrimination, may be causing the black brain to age faster. Since scientists have previously determined these factors can lead to cognitive decline. See, and that's why I said, you know, when you're under the rulership of beasts and under, under the rulership with your natural enemy. I mean, I'm just going to call it like it is. You know, everything has an um, natural enemy. And no matter how they try to sugarcoat it and fix it up, all your experiments and all your evil treatment is really mis is focused on black people. So it's by design. It's not an accident. And my thing is, why would you just want to keep you must really be a sad group to actually sit here and really get off on mistreating another group over and over and over again. Constantly, constantly, generation after generation, needing a scapegoat, needing a, a group of people to mistreat. And unfortunately, we've been deemed that people. So black people, when you feel like, you know, hey, this is this this is tailor made for us, and I don't understand this. And then when people are trying to tell you, "Oh no, calm down, it's just your imagination," I want you to refer them back to this article, okay? Uh, that um, that 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 the researchers are better understanding how racism can affect and harm the brain. A previous study that collected data from 59,000 black women uh, found those who experienced daily microaggressions and systemic discrimination were 2.75 times likely to have worse cognitive functioning, an earlier indicator of, a, of Alzheimer's disease. You see how they're killing us slowly with all types of craziness? Um, again, Alzheimer's is a progressive brain disorder that slowly weakens memory and other functions. Older black Americans are twice as likely as white peers to have Alzheimer's or dementia. And many of them do not get diagnosis until the disease process was more advanced. Adam Brickman, a professor of neuropsychology at Columbia University, and the study's main author told Stat that he was surprised to see of the brain aging began so quickly in black people. The authorities, the authors of the study did not respond to the insider's request for more um, additional comments. It is evidence that when we think about outcomes in late life, a lot of those charges are, changes are starting earlier in life, Brickman told Stat. Cognitive aging is a lifelong phenomenon, not just something that happens when you turn 65. This is very, very um, disturbing on so many levels. And I got this from the insider, um, Ashtar, Elena Ashtar, from the insider.com. And I really appreciate that article. And I wish a lot of y'all would um, read a little bit more pertaining this group that you call African Americans, Negroes, or, uh, colors. And instead of telling us to put ourselves up by the bootstraps, I really wish a lot of y'all would consider 
what has happened to these people who have been turned upside down, inside out, st stolen from their homeland, made to let go of their mores, their religion, their beliefs, and all replaced by a white man's belief system. And to have a world where today, if you acknowledge that that happened, then you got to be playing the race card. What kind of mind screw is that? And you can't talk about race in school because you will hurt the children. But no, it's really because your history is so dirty. It's so evil with scientific experiments like this and uh, taking women uh, body parts out of them without even giving them anesthesia. You have so many horrible, horrible stories how you treated my people, and that's why y'all don't want to talk race. That's why in the South there's this, what is it? Well, critical race theory, and we don't want to make the white children feel bad. What a crock of sh crap. What a crock of crap. When are we going to get real and operate really like the United States? When are the states going to be united? Because this shit right here that's going on, it's far from united. In fact, it's just making the other group, the group that's being held down, it's making them hate the oppressor even more and more. That's that's really what, what's happening. So when you start hating oppression to this degree, you're going to realize that you got some of your own people that want to oppress you. They want to keep you in that gangland, mafia, uh, pimp, whole game. No, 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 no. None of that is acceptable because all of that is residue from the madness that the dominant society has put on us. So with that said, um, I want you to check that article out because it's very interesting. And if uh, you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and uh, share the channel. And I'll see you in